What do you want people to know about Moose Factory? It's like when you move to a city and then like you go to school, you make new friends and they want to get to know you and they ask you where you're from and, and then you say like, oh, I'm from Moose Factory. And then they're like, uh, where's that? And then you're like, it's on James Bay Coast. And they're like, well, where's James Bay? And it's like, oh. Do I have to explain the whole story? The thing they ask too, like after they find out you're from Moose Factory, they ask you like if they make moose here because of Moose Factory. Do they have a factory for mooses? For moose? Yeah. Is it mooses? Me? I think it's it's not me. <laughs> well, when there's more. <laughs> no, it's moose. It's still moose. No, it's me. Yes. I think. <laughs> Mises? Mises? I believe it's just moose. If we don't continue practicing our three ways, we, we're just going to be uh, assimilated into the Canadian system. We're going to be part of that system. That's not who we are. And I guess it's important that the Canadians understand the history of uh, general public mainstream need to understand the real history of uh, Canada. There was a teacher that came from uh, Toronto to teach her. She thought there was going to be polar bears running around outside and people with uh, tents outside. She didn't know there were houses. That was about 40 years ago. I think they should really, they should really know how it is here, you know, come and visit and find out for themselves how we live. Good afternoon and a good day. This is Eli, your DJ, here today. Happy Monday out there to all of you in Radio Lens. Turning out to be a very lovely day here in the Moose Factory, Moose Area, seeing the sun actually. You can see the sun peeking through the clouds. It's like looking right at me, right through the CJFI magic window. We received a request. This is from the Sewing Circle, and they requested Dolly Parton. Loretta Lynn and Tammy Wynette with silver threads and golden needles. Here they are on the island. Back in the 1600s, I believe, when the Hudson's Bay first came here, 1673, I believe, Moose Factory was founded by the English. First put on a map, I guess. And uh, I believe, you know, the Hudson's Bay Company, there was a really big fur trade in this area. Like, so a lot of natives, they started settling here on Moose Factory. There's a museum here. Usually they would leave the doors open in the summertime because we get tourists that come here. Mm -hmm. But I haven't seen them open this year. Mm -hmm. Me and her used to sell fossils. We would set up a table and put our fossils there, try to sell our fossils. <laughs> yeah. They always talk about tourism, but nobody's doing anything about it. Were there a lot of tourists that used to come here? A lot of one time, yeah. What did they come to see? I think it was the history. They probably came here and expected to see uh, teepees and all that kind of stuff. I think a lot of the tourists were surprised to come here and see uh, Pizza Hut and KFC down the road. I'm waiting for a boat. I'm going to move me. I'm going to work. Every day I go by boat Monday to Friday during the summer months from April to uh, usually the beginning of November and then from November to middle of December we go by a helicopter. I drive a taxi boat. 
right now it's 20 bucks per person because of the ice flowing and cold weather and in the summer it's usually 15 per person and then elders are usually ten dollars senior discount yep yep Paris, you're on next. Paris, Kaylin, Grace, Faith, John, and Michael. You're on the next one. <laughs> um, I'm going to school, um, Northern Lights Secondary School in Moosonee. Chopper season. <laughs> it's called choppers. Why? Because the river's freezing over, so we can't take boats. And it's not frozen over, so we can't take vans. So we have to go over in choppers. We're expecting the expedition to bring our uh, groceries for northern. Sounds like they're uh, revving up now in the airport. I'm making an Indian pudding, an old fashioned one kind that my mother used to make a long time ago. That was the only thing that we ever had for dessert. Huh. Called Indian pudding. You put it in a bag and you uh, boil it for four hours. Mm -hmm. That's what I was starting to do when you came knocking on my door. Because <laughs> we lived off the land, eh? We were in a bush most of the time. We went about maybe almost 40 miles from here on the west side of James Bay. We'd have to walk. We had a couple of dogs that carried our stuff, eh? But they were very useful, the dogs in those days, and eh? not like now. The dogs are just pets. This is pretty late, you know. It should have been frozen like, like two weeks ago or three weeks ago. The river here. Yeah. You know, I'm very, very surprised this year that it's not frozen yet. Yeah. The elders had advised me to go back to my more wild meat diet. Right. So I, I have a, a lot of wild meat now. Like I get it up the river, uh, kill a moose every fall, and catch the fresh fish. And some other people give me, and, you know, they say, "Hey, I got an excess uh, supply of this meat or that meat." I got my first goose two years ago or three years ago. So yeah, I like I like spring hunting. I haven't got my moose yet. You have to scrape the hide and like soak it, smoke it, and that's something that I would like to learn too. They were ever strong, these kids. I was pulling hard too, that's me there. They were all stretching the heights as part of the tanning process. This has been in place, this TP here, probably a good 12 years now. And it's like a school, we all get together around the fire, cook, talk, stories. I have a hide here that's complete. It has a smell of uh, a smoky, uh, I don't know, hide, <laughs> I don't know how else, but it's, it's just like it reminds them of their grandmothers. Yeah, we, we value that smell. Ah, uh, yeah, I love it here. Yeah, it's nice, it's beautiful. You can go in the bush anytime, you know, I like to play my music. It's, you know, everybody. So you have a good family, I have a girlfriend. I have a child on the way, actually. January 1st is the due date, yeah. Mm -hmm. So I'm looking forward to that. We have uh, nicer houses than that. We don't live in shacks. <laughs> Just kidding. Pass the maple syrup, a eh? <laughs> stuff like that. We don't talk like that. But we do have our like native slang, like jishtag, that means like holy cow, or like that's crazy, like jishtag. We have little slang like that, so. Here was the Horton Hall residential school. This barbed wire, well, there was barbed wire on the top, and this fence here, this big fence, it encloses all the, you know. Well, we were told, like, no, you don't speak. 
your Cree here, you know. Mm -hmm. You're going to speak a new language all the time, English, and that's it. Mm -hmm. So a lot of us lost that, like it was, we were nearly like ashamed to speak our own language, yeah? mm. you know. Mm. Oh yes, it's boiling. Look at it. Uh, I was a real gambler, eh? I'm a heavy smoker. So I really need a change in my life. And I, uh, it's called, I got saved by the Lord. That's 20, 27 years ago. So I don't smoke and I don't gamble. I know a lot of kids now suffer from all the alcohol and drugs. Yeah. I think every family on the island is affected by that. You know, I'm kind of both. Uh -huh. Like I'm Christian and I still hold on to my, my native beliefs. <laughs> that sounds nearly like... Uh, what? There, yeah, yeah. This is my uh, late uncle, Matthew's tool he made for me. My uncle Matthew taught us a lot in respect to uh, animals, water, you know, the environment, you know, its family. This knowledge, I think this is what we are really working hard on as uh, Cree people. He maintained his trapping before he passed away. You know why I keep going out there, he says, it's for the future. We care because we are a sovereign nation also. You know, Canada, when they came here, we were here. And it's important that they know this. I told this person uh, <laughs> yeah. of my own opinion. He said, oh, you're Aboriginal, aren't you? I said, whoa, whoa, buddy. Uh, I'm not Aboriginal, I'm original. <laughs> I think we got this a little backwards here. <laughs> I'm a light-skinned native, right? So nobody really gives me racism, like down south or anything. Like, whereas like, somebody that's dark-skinned might get some little remarks or like get treated differently. Because one time I went to, uh, well, it's a game store, right? Looking around and uh, picked up my games and this guy came, he was working there, right? You know how they're friendly and they want to help you out and you know, on your purchase. So he helped me out, he's like, yeah, that game's good, whatnot. I showed him my status card, right? and he, his face totally dropped, like, he changed his attitude and he didn't, like, he was just kind of like, you know, like, kind of disappointed that I was native or something, you know? I kind of went through that. That, that, that was pretty bad. Here's my service. In the war. Yeah. Mm. Uh, you see? Or is it too dark? How was it you didn't bring home an English woman home? <laughs> oh, I said, no, I, I wouldn't bring an English woman. Because if I brought an English woman, she'd want to be a divorce. <laughs> he laughed as an officer. <laughs> Yep. Yeah! <laughs> we get whales up here. Beluga whales. Oh, and we had a polar bear last year. Oh, yeah. Polar bear came to the dump, but they had to shoot it. I've been crossing this river since 1999. This is the first time ever I'm going to be going by boat on December the 2nd. Very unusual. We are in the basin. All the water from down south, all the mines, all the uh, farming flows by right down the bank here. All, everything comes down here. And how is the future going to be for our children? Now, people wouldn't be able to live off the, off the land because there's hardly anything out there. 
We used to get a lot of geese at one time out there. You hardly see anything now. All the geese are going west, different route. I miss the city sometimes, but I like being home here. Because yeah. like, you have more freedom, like you can do, like you can just hop in your vehicle and go to the store and be there in like five minutes, like two, two minutes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But I like, I like the city, I like shopping, so. <laughs> I enjoy myself here, like I do play basketball, I play guitar, you know, I play in a group, I work, you know, I'm quite busy. You know, I keep myself busy, so I enjoy my, my life here. Um, when I'm older, I'd like to come back and see if anything's changed. Would you want to live here? Um, maybe like when I'm really old. <laughs> a lot of the young people that are growing up, they get their education and they leave it. They go down south. You can't blame them, they're, they're more modernized. You know, they always say that the young people are the future. Everybody, and welcome to the weather news. I'm Chanel, and today it's snowing, and I'm building a snowman. We're in Moose Factory, and well, um, some people already know that because some people that are in Moose Factory are watching my TV show. <laughs> 